Okay, great. It's beginning. Ah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Great. Okay, let's start. Uh, today is the 16th of October 2022. Welcome everyone to Tai Chi Weekly, held by European Tai Chi Culture Center. We invite the most famous Tai Chi tutors in China to teach in our weekly Tai Chi online classes. So if you are interested in Tai Chi, you are welcome to follow our YouTube channel and join our WhatsApp group. We have all the head masters of those major Tai Chi styles to work with us so that people from overseas can also enjoy the abundant Tai Chi resources of China. My name is Isabella. I live in Brussels. I'm your hostess today. Very excitingly, today we have Master Fu Ching Chen's Tai Chi class again. I have been looking forward to this lecture for a whole month. I'm sure all of you would share my feeling. In Master Fu's first lecture, he demonstrated the warm up exercises and started the beginning of this form. He also popped up a very interesting question. When you lift your arms, are you lifting up or lifting forward? And when you put down your arms, are you putting the arms down? or backward? Do you know the answers? If you do know the answers, and more importantly, if you are actually doing it in your Tai Chi, then congratulations. It means you've grasped some essence of Tai Chi. If you don't know yet, don't worry. You can go to our YouTube channel and you will see the first lecture recorded and kept in our YouTube channel. And you will know the answers there. Uh, on the background today, some friend has noticed that's the third lesson notice. Yes, today that's the second lesson, but we put the third lesson notice as the background so that everybody would know the time. And you could, if you can, arrange the time for Master Fu's next lecture. Okay, Master Fu, really, really good to see you again. Wonderful. And now uh, you may begin the lecture and thank you again. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Isabella. And uh, good morning or good evening. <laughs> in China now is the evening, but uh, in Europe, I think it's uh, almost uh, is uh, good morning or good noon. And uh, is uh, hello and uh, to everybody around the world. And uh, it's very nice to see you again on the Europe Tai Chi Center this uh, stage. And uh, I hope you are enjoying my class. Because the pandemic and, uh, you know, we are being, haven't seen for a few years, especially I very often need to go back to Europe and I miss so many, especially Habia, I can see you, yeah. And uh, the Indian friends, uh, some of the Indian friends, uh, first time I see them on the screen. Yeah, but I really, really welcome you are come to China. I hope next year will be, uh, everything will be better, okay? And uh, today in China is a very special day, is the Communist Congress. So, you know, uh, we are in China have a great future. And I hope this pandemic will be quickly uh, the end of it. 
you know, so we can be more free. We can visit each other. I also miss Indian. I like to visit India again. For many years, I haven't been visiting. Uh, I've been visiting twice. Yeah, so I'm looking forward. And also, I, in the screen, I can see we have a, a Spanish. Yeah, I have a friends from Argentina, uh, from India, from Malaysia, from Australia. Yeah, so, yeah, it's nice to see you in here. And uh, we are doing uh, great work, okay? And uh, last lesson, and Isabella is actually, it's the first time we are, uh, you know, uh, I teach in Tai Chi, that was the first time. Isabella actually is also very good uh, practice with me, yeah. So I ask the question and uh, it is for almost, our Tai Chi friend, but also it's for the expeller yourself. <laughs> What's about your answer? <laughs> uh, but anyway, and the last lesson, we did the three warm up. So, warm up is very important. You know, when you're doing exercise, you need to do warm up. Yeah. But people sometimes thinking, oh, Tai Chi is so slow. We don't need a warm up. No, it's wrong. You know, at least, at least your mind. Okay, you have to come back. Okay, have to calm. So, you know, you come from different places. Yeah, from office, from house. You go out the garden. You practice. So, your heart. Your body have to work together. And these are three big exercise and actually is a big circle, okay? The big circle, the one exercise. The second exercise is turning the spine, yeah. And also we have a stretching for the legs. So, let we doing some exercise first. And today, uh, instead of opening form, I have to show you the first movement, parting the Wahoza's mind. But anyway, we keep going, okay? Yeah. And uh, before we start, we have to salute to all the masters. Okay. All right. Last lesson. We are already did some warm up. Okay. Just follow me. We play together. Okay. Slowly lift up your arms. Remember, making the big circle and bend your knee and drop your arms. And the arm go to the left side of me and my hips turning to the right. Stretch and come down. So maybe you can do it 10 times from left to the right. Can you see the hips? That's right. And bend the knee and drop your arm. Just relax, drop. And this exercise, is very good for your body balance, okay? It's not only legs, arms, especially good for your body balance. And also we have a practice the 
knee joint, the shoulder joint, and the ball and soccer joint. Okay, now we try from right to left, both sides making circles. Our Tai friends, standing up, try to do with me. If you just like to sit down, then you can try to move your arms. Okay. And lift up the arms, breathing and the arms drop, breathe out. And this is very natural, the go is. Oh, I see Anka from Holland. <laughs> very good, Anka doing with me. Fantastic. Okay, now the second exercise, twisting your arms and elbows back and squatting down, arms close to in front of your body, palm to palm. Okay, now breathing, open the chest. Lift a little bit up, okay? Not on the waist, yeah, about your chest. Area. Elbows back and further and bend. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Shoulder is re relaxed. Your body is keep center still. Okay, now elbows back. So this is rotating your arms, and you can see when your elbows back. Okay, you are exercise your shoulder and the bones of the joint. And this time, okay, your tailbone should be holding in and lift up, okay? Your growing should be a lift up. Yeah, not push forward. It's not a push, okay? It's drop and lift up. You can see very clear, I think, from the screen. Breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, now close. Okay. Now, the first two exercise more arms works with the body, but the last exercise, we are more concentrate on the lower body, okay? Stretching, stretching. Okay, now, follow me. First, rotating your knee. Okay, rotating your knee. And push your knee a little bit. 
Okay. Get your lower body. Start work. Okay. Yeah, just after that a few times. Okay. Then the second time. <clears throat> Rotating and uh, massage your knee joint. Try to get, especially your knee joint, getting warm. Okay. Now, almost our weather is getting cold. And this year, Europe will be more cold. We have to do more Tai Chi to keep our body warm. <laughs> the gas, the petrol are getting expensive. <laughs> All right. The second time and the third time now. Push back a little bit. All right. Now bang on me. Yeah, it looks very easy, right? But easy movement. Many people lazy to do it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, after that, use your finger to touch your toe. Now, push up. This is very important. Lift up your head. Don't drop your head. Lift up your head. Get your neck, squeeze. Okay, now, bend knee. The second one, use your fist to punch your toe. So your arm will be a little bit shorter. So you will feel it, okay? And keep your leg is straight. And you can feel it. The stretch is from your hips to the heels, all right? Keep your leg straight. You can see my line. So today, I especially wear this clothing. It's easy to uh, see some movements. Okay, third time. Now, we already been tried toe, fist. Now we are trying palm. Touch the toe and getting more narrow, more tight, okay? Stretch. Okay, then after that, it's very important is don't lift your body like that. That will be very dangerous, okay? Now, finish, bend the knee again. Now you can lift up your head and open your chest with the breathing, body standing up, okay? This is the safe way to do the right exercise. So this is very important. Lots of people, they did exercise, okay? They're thinking they are did exercise, but they are doing some dangerous movements. So this is uh, uh, ungreed. So we are, have to be, make sure, especially I have to show you the right way, okay? Now, so this is a short version of the, the warm-up. Only three movements, okay? Because we don't have a lot of time online. So that's why I cut it to be short. So this three exercise, actually, you know, I am travel a lot. So it's very easy for me to do this kind of exercise in the hotel rooms. Yeah, I just don't want to harm other people's, but this is, just for short exercise. It's very good. Whatever you want to do for warm up, 
or just do the exercise, this is great to do it. And also we have a Yung Yang Tai Chi 13 posture warm up exercise. So by one day, okay, I show everybody the 13 posture, the warm up exercise. So uh, I think almost uh, my student, you all know how to practice, but in this lesson, I just warm up these three movements, okay? Yeah, now we are going to Tai Chi. Last lesson, I teach the opening form, okay? Our opening form is, maybe you found out how come some people is bending the knee, but you are not, yes. Because in the beginning, okay, in the beginning, this is what? This is Wu Ji Stan, Wu Ji Zhuang. What is Wu Ji? Wu Ji is no balance, it's no more, it's original, okay? I don't want you straight to lock your knee. What is lock the knee? Can you see? Huh? I wear these pants, you can easily to see what is wrong, what is right. Okay, if it's wrong, this is wrong. Okay, this will be like army. You can see the strike. Okay, so I don't want to lock the knee, but natural. You can see is a straight. If little bit bent, you can easily to see that was bent. Okay. If you bend, okay. Many people thinking Tai Chi exercise should be bent, right? Of course. Our stand when we start doing Tai Chi always bent. Okay. Never lock up straight. Always solid, empty. But in the beginning, if you are bent, if you are bent your knee, that means this stand change. A change from Wuji to horse stand. Wuji. Oh, this is a double weight. Okay, horse So when we are practice, I want to you um, understand the authentic young style Tai Chi in the beginning. And this name, what the name is? The name is opening form. So it's opening, it's get ready, get your whole bodies ready. So you have to preparing your arms, legs, even the breathing. Our Tai Chi breathing, it is very difficult, but this difficult or very uh, special breathing is come from, <coughs> excuse me, it is come from very natural breathing. But the, our movements is will be in fact the breathing. When we doing martial art, okay, or most people know is when the arms open, we'll be breathing. Arms closed, we'll be breathed out. Arms lift up is breathing. Arm pressed down is breathe out. Or most Tai Chi people, Wusu people understand that. Yeah. So when we are practicing, 
form of Tai Chi. I don't want you thinking anything about the breathing, please. Okay. I think some master will say, oh, when you arm this movement, you have to be breathing. And that movement you're going to breathe out. Useless. Useless. And lots of, uh, I don't want to say other people's. But if you learn from me and trust the book, so it's very important is concentrate your movement, okay? Concentrate your movement. Your movement will be leading your breathing. But breathing, you have to understand. Last lesson, I already teach you how to breathing. Breathing from your nose and your mouth. Uh, breathing in from your nose only. And breathe out through your nose and the mouth naturally. And by the time you breathe in and breathe out, and when you, all the time when you are practicing, your tongue will be touch the ceiling. Like this. And your mouth have to be slightly open. Like this. If I, I can't talking, huh? I just let you see. But some people, when they are practice, especially they are doing a movement, <laughs> when they are pushing something, yeah. yeah, when you're practicing around the 10 minutes, after 10 minutes, you already forgot. You're doing a movement. You look the mouth. Yeah. So very easily to close the mouth or to make the, your mouth very uncomfortable. So keep your mouth slightly open, okay? Not like a lion. That's also wrong. Yeah. But this is a breathing, how to breathing, the technique. But when breathing, what the position breathing? Okay, please. Your mind will tell you. Okay? And your movement will tell you. Some people say, oh, when you open the arm, breathing. When you close, breathe out. Sound to be very good. But actually, I think this is extra, you know? Because nobody, nobody, when arms open and breathe out. Definitely something wrong here. The person, something wrong here, they will do that. So our natural body, okay? So about the Tai Chi breathing, it is big things, but let the body movement to give your mind. And then it's very, very naturally when you need to breathe in and, and breathe out. But the technique and when you breathe in, breathe in with your nose and breathe out with your mouth and the nose very naturally, and by the time, the tongue, touch, touch, very natural, very gentle touch. Remember, keep your mouth a little bit open. So this is Du Mai. Uh, this is a Chinese Jing Luo. Du Mai is from here. Up leg, Ren Mai is down leg. Okay, Ren Du Er Mai. So it's a two big line and they are connecting the energy by your tongue. That's right. So when we are practicing Tai Chi, we just have to connect in the Ren Du Er Mai, be fine. What I'm breathing, what I'm not breathing, 
all up to your body. But very important, you have to get your movements correct. This is first important. Okay, my dear friend. Yeah. And uh, just, just a joke. Huh? It's uh, by the the, uh, the the I say, yeah. We are Chinese people. When we're eating, use chopsticks, right? Yeah. I get a piece of meat to my mouth. Please, you tell me, is breathe in or breathe out? Whatever. Breathe in or breathe out. All not going to be put a piece of meat to your mouth. And when you have a vocation, cheers. When you drink, by the time you're thinking you are breathing in or breathe out, <laughs> then the alcohol or the soft drink, you never been drained. And then for example, again, I with my love, okay? I wear a kiss. Before the kiss, you breathe in or breathe out. Let me know. <laughs> you just come. It's, that's it. So all the breathe, the oxygen, the body will control naturally. So I don't want to, you are separate, you know? You're thinking breathing or thinking arms, legs, because Tai Chi, tai chi exercise is a big thing. I need lots of memory to is going to be controlled. So first thing to get your movements correct. Then everything will be go through, go smooth. Okay, so for the beginners, I just said the last lesson is the legs don't be bad, don't be double weighted. Okay, now we have to be make sure your whole body is begin. So your arms get ready, your legs get ready, and your mind get ready, your breathing get ready. So only the first movements you need to breathe in and out with your control. So it's like a time clock. Okay, you have to go back to zero. What the noise? No it's not mine. Okay. B block line Please turn the mic off. Who is the please close the mic? Okay. Yeah. All right then. So only in the first movement when we are. Lift up arms, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, in front, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, please look my hands. My fingers have to point in straight towards the south. Yeah, every time you practice, whatever front is east or north or west or south, you're always south. For example, if my face in here, okay, this is the south, east, west, Notes. Okay, so this is easy to you looking the position. 
So every time when I'm my face to you, I'm facing to the south. Okay, my back to you, my back is to the north. All right. Now I'm facing to the south, and then my fingers also is pointing to the south. So lift up arm, breathe in, and breathe out. And cock the wrist is very important. Okay? Yeah. Not drop your hand like this. Doesn't cock. You have to cock your wrist. Yeah. And also, you have to see where you put your hands. Not in the center of your leg. Okay? It's not here. It's in front. But also, it's not too much in the front. So it just beside to your hips, okay? Beside to your hips. Little bit further of your body. And keep your elbow is back. So this is very important. Is your fingers pointing straight? That means your elbow is pointing back. If your fingers pointing, Inwards, that means your elbows will definitely going out. All right, so must be drop your hands, cock your wrist. And the one thing I don't know, you are watching clearly or not, is looking for my palm. Okay, my palm, please look, is not a totally flat, is a little bit on the angle. Yeah. So the palm, when we are pushed down and when we are pushed out, this palm all will be like the beginning. Yeah. It's not a flat. If you are flat palm, then your elbow will be stick out. This is a human body, okay? This is a human body. But also is very important is when we are pushed, okay? You will push at this part of your palm. This part of your palm is not to push here. And the here, if you push, is like a push the wall flat, then you will be crack your wrist, okay? So we are Chinese, we have a chin now. So when you are pushed flat, I can break your wrist. So if you are on the angle, so if people doing this, then you will can be move the elbow. So it's easy to go, all right? If you're going like that, then you go out, not. So for the technique, and the, this is how to push more stronger and more safely, is all because your palm is on the angle. It's not a flat, okay? And also, please tell me, the human body is curved or flat. Touch your body. Your body is curved around or flat, like wall. I think everybody will be answered the right, right question, right? So the palm, when we are push, okay, is well, nicely is touching your body or is not like pushing the wall, this is wrong. So if you cock your wrist, so in the beginning movement, you are misunderstand. Then the further movement, you also don't know how to be do it, clear. So the opening form is so important. If the first movement you write, 
okay? At least you know your body. So I spent lots of time in the first beginning movement, but on most people, they don't care. The beginning movement is easy. Just lift up an arm and push down, that's it. So if in the beginning you're going round, well, then after you will be more mistake. So cock the wrist is a very important. But also, some people also say, oh, we have to be make a round circle. Why? Because Tai Chi is round. Okay? And also we say the armpit should be opened. Oh, is a very good excuse because Tai Chi is a circle, because the armpit had to be opened. I tell you, the arm is circle is not you're drawing a circle, okay? The arm circle is this circle. I remember saying to you last lesson, it's like the wheel. Your body is a push car and the two wheels beside your body. So this is a realm. It's not straight like this. It is round. Cock your wrist. Okay? And you have to think in yourself is part of the big circle. You don't think all little bow yourself. You need more play it, okay? So this is first answer. This is wrong. And if your fingers in, the elbows out. If your elbows are out, your shoulder not relaxed. Definitely not, okay? This is not James Fusay. It's by the, 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 the physical psychology. So our human body, Okay, physically, it is will be like that. Okay, the second, say, oh, I have to open the armpit. Please, my dear friends, <clears throat> your arm, it is beside your body. This is relaxed or not? Yes. I'm not squeeze the armpit, okay? I'm just relaxed. But if you try to open, because we are practicing when I'm young, my grandfather tell me, oh, you have to thinking about the egg. Put the egg under your armpit. I mean, not a big egg, huh? Yeah. So if you are open, where's the egg? Last time I tell you, the egg is in the ground. The eggs will be dropped. So. You have to keep the eggs, but don't squeeze the egg. Then we'll be very natural. Understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I just, for example, but anyway, I just try to explaining to our Tai Chi friend, the opening form is so important. Yeah. For example, but again, if I'm doing that movement in the beginning, you don't see anything wrong. And also you think, oh, my body is so relaxed. All right, doing a one push movement. I don't move anything. Doing a push movement. When you push like this, you think you'll be good. If you're doing a knee brush like this, if we're doing a wider crane, spread the wing like this? No. I didn't change any position. I just lift up my arm. When down, you don't feel wrong. And then when you lift up, please, you are try yourself. You can feel it to your elbows, big point. So, Drop your elbow like this, okay? When you are doing push. Knee brush, wipe the crane. Okay? So 
all the movements, if you are in the beginning not to really understand the, how the body works, okay? Tai Chi can be very easy. People thinking, oh, Tai Chi is for all the people. It's like a dancing. But if you are really practice into it, this is about the Chinese knowledge, okay? They involve lots of sign, lots of traditional sign in the Tai Chi, the philosophy, the Chinese medicine. Yeah, it's lots of things, yeah. Okay, all right then, so, Beginning movement from the side of practice again. Breathing. So you feel it to give out. Breathing and breathe out. And the armpit. Okay. The, the tailbone. Okay. There is not armpit. The tailbone is a little bit. And copy your wrist. Okay. Now front again. Breathing. Breathe out. Okay. When you are lift up your arms, thinking go forward. And when you come down. Sinking down, don't sinking back because your arm, he know how to come back home. Okay, look, drop, he will be back. Okay, he won't be drop there. He will be back. So we are just natural, push there, he'll be back. Okay, from the back, breathing. Breathe out. Okay, so this is first movement, opening four. The second movement is parting the wild horse's mind. Okay, please watch me. Okay, I go a little bit to the side. Opening four. Breathing and breathe out. Then after, now is we are body weight shifting to the left, heel turn, and arms cross. It's like a holding a bow, but we say this is the great harmony. Okay, the great. Then lift up your right foot, step out to the right side. Okay, this is a part in the wall hoses nine. Please have to look, where's your hand? Okay, where's your left hand? And your right hand. Yeah. Left hand is about your growing area. Besides, and out of your body, when the pocket is, okay, my pocket, and cock the wrist. And then we said the tiger mouse. Pointing straight. Where is the tiger mouse? Here. This is, we say, the tiger mouse. Okay. A lot of people doing this movement is four fingers pointing straight. It's like that. This is wrong. Should be like that. And you can see my elbow. If your finger's straight, Again, your elbow stick out in here. So 
This is for grab people's arm, grab. And the right hand will be go on the person's arm. In the armpit, give foot and then to the right. So this left hand is grab, 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 hit, and split. Yeah. So this movement in front. And uh, have a look from the side. Opening fall. Transfer your body weight to the left. Heel turn. Arms together. And then step out. Both stands. Open down. First, can you see here? Go straight. End of the movement. Split. Split. First direction in the front. Then split. So when we finish, look the hand palm. It's not this. It's that. So you are like a flying the plate. When we have a dinner, the plate. Okay? Yeah. So get your wrist work okay all right from the back now you can follow me okay open the ball breathe in and breathe out this movement now is uji stand then come and be a tai chi stand solid and Heel turn, cross your arm. Step out. Okay. Keep your body side, not flat. Side. But your head have to be flat, okay? <clears throat> All right, now, now follow me. The first step, from here. Okay, don't worry about the hands. Heel turn, bend knee. Okay, make sure your knee and your toe is on line. That's very important. Then lift up your right leg, I don't have to be lift up very high, okay? Lift up is just to move. So just leave the ground enough and open the growing. So this time you have to keep your whole body have a good balance. One, two, okay? Open the growing here. One. Two, three, step, put down. Four, transfer the body weight. Okay. And make sure your ear will be straight down to the behind the front. This is too much. This is double weight. If your ear drop to both foot center, some people thinking this is big body strength, but it's wrong. Because a Tai Chi step must be solid to empty, yin and yang. Solid is not only the leg solid, the body comes. The body will give your leg exactly solid. Okay, we try again. One, two, 
three, four. And four, left foot can be a little bit pivoting on the toe. Yeah, depends the step. All right. In the front, please watch me again. One, heel turn. Bend the knee, drop your body weight on the left legs. So now you'll be very easily to lift up your right legs to control the balance. Then step out. Then shifting the body away. Now you can see my pants. The left leg is straight, okay? But not, again, not a lock. Is a straight, but it's not a bend. If bend, also wrong. If straight, also wrong. Is unlocked. Besides, one, <clears throat> two, three. Four, pointing to the toe, knee and the toe. Not like that. This is wrong. Many people practice Tai Chi because that is damaged the knee. And then after they blend because Tai Chi, okay? Is they are not doing properly. And the back leg, knee also pointing to the toe. It's not like this, it's pointing to the toe. So you need to open the growing. The leg is not like a open, open. It's like a expand from the growing. Yeah. All right then. So this is your lower body movement. Upper body movement from the beginning, Lift up your left foot, or left hand, right hand under. Okay. Make sure the movement is a cross. Okay, it's a cross. It's not like that. This is wrong. Okay. Very clear. Yeah. Keep open, keep open. Yeah. Don't be holding up. We, we in China, I, wherever, many people be teaching Tai Chi also, holding a bow. But holding a bow only in the hands. Okay, this is not, but for the beginners, it's easy to understand. But really, we say this is a great harmony. Then, palm, pass to palm, okay? It's important. Palm, pass. And left hand is Cai. It's pushed down. Right hand is palm. Xiang Qian, ward off, forward, ward off, then split. Oh, I see you, Pedro, in your gardens. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right, then. In the front, I did the hand, okay, right side. Breathe in, breathe out. Heel turn, arms cross. Lift up, two, three, four.
Pronto. Within. Without. Inter. Lift up, step out. Palm. Lift. Palm. Lift. Palm. Lift. But when we do in movement, the hand, the position is straight side. Okay, now back, follow me, practice with me. We're doing three times. Breathe in, breathe out. Second time, breathe in, breathe out. One, heel turn, two, open, if I step out, three, and hold off and split. Okay. Second round. One more, we are practice. Breathe in, breathe out. One, two, three, four. Parting the well hosts of mind. Okay. Now, today we are practicing the opening form. And then the second movement, parting the well hosts of mind. So today's lesson, I explaining, repeating a lot for the beginners especially for the beginning part, okay, the opening form. Because uh, I have a lot of uh, my friends, I see, but also, especially I have see some face is first time. And the Indian students is the first time, I mean, I see last time and this time. So we are not hand bang hand is practice. So I want to do more explaining, especially for the peoples I never see before. So you only learning from the book or video, it is very difficult. So that's why I want to sharing more details for those I never see them before. So thank you so much, the Europe Taiji Center. Give this a stage. I can teach you online. So we have been very far from the around the world. But by the time now, we are so narrow, so close, our heart all together. So time's flying and because Tonight, I have another lesson at seven o'clock China time. So I have to be say goodbye. I have to prepare for the next lesson. So thank you so much. All around the world, Tai Chi friends. I hope see you soon. Thank you, Isabella. Are you there? Thank you, Master Fu. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Sorry.
Thank you, my friends mm -hmm. around the world from Argentina, Spain, uh, Indian, Malaysia, uh, uh, and where? And Holland. And, and uh, please give me see the screen. Portugal. Let me see. Portugal too. Oh, Portugal. <laughs> Definitely. The Portugal. Yes. And the Ulague. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> I see lots of video. Yeah. And uh, very much. Hello. Yes. Hello. And uh, the and the Hong Kong. And the Russia. Young. Oh, yes. Oh, this. I see you just now. Yeah. So I it's, think it's, uh, very much nice. it's thank you. Oh, and the French, my dear friends. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Hello, for oh, I miss you also. <laughs> oh, and the Queen, French Queen is here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you are, you are the Queen, the real Queen. Hello, is James. The, how are you? Yeah, to the heaven, but you are the queen now. <laughs> yeah. Hello, James, in Spain, Rhyme. Yes, Spain. Yes, yes. The and, rain. Uh, Master Michael is still rising. Yes, student. Gago, I see you. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello,老师好,老师好。你好,你好。非常开心。你们是马来西亚的是吗? <laughs> Johnny,陈善竹,Johnny,哦,OK,OK,OK,啊,你好,陈先生,请,请问候马来西亚的全友,很想念他们,啊,好的,老师,我们,我也很想念马来西亚的榴莲。老师我们有学陈思泰极拳同时也学您教的杨氏泰极拳我们都学嗯很好这个但是最后我希望你有一个很好的选择因为呢这两个拳都非常好但是呢这两个拳呢<笑><笑> 你如果要把它练精的话那还是这个有一个选择会更好一点啊我也很喜欢陈氏啊但是我是杨家拳的传人对不对啊也有很多陈氏太极拳的老师他也是传人但他很喜欢杨氏太极拳啊就比如说我们
Yeah, November. the 20th of November. November 20, 20 of November. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Great. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. All the best bye. to you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> big kiss, big heart. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye. Thank you, people. Thank you. Okay, Master Fu has covered a lot of details this time. And uh, if anyone, anyone not to uh, clear about anything, please go to our YouTube channel. We will put this lesson online very, very soon so that you can review. And also, if you have any questions, more specific questions, you're welcome to go to our WhatsApp group. You can pop up the question. We will ask Master Fu to answer in our WhatsApp group. And for the WhatsApp group, um, I'm sure you can find the, the link. If you can't, uh, please let us know. And we will find a way to share the link with you so that you can go to our WhatsApp group and we can have more discussions, answer more questions there. Uh, when we have more time. Okay, so happy to see everyone again today and uh, we look forward to meeting all of you next time. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Xiang Yu, thank you. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Sam, Wei.